This week on the White Knuckle Web Show, miracles can happen. I got a spot out on the backside of uh, my sanctuary that I'm going to access in from one of my neighbors. And um, I think I might just be able to catch a buck coming out of there tonight. Conditions are terrible. Uh, 15 mile an hour winds. It's almost 70 degrees in southeast Iowa. And it's Halloween, 31st of October. So I'm heading to this spot on a southeast. It's cutting it bad. I'm relying on my ozotics. I mean, it's just cutting it. But, you know, that's if you're going to catch one of these big bucks moving, I think this is the spot I can do it. On the way in here, I saw a ton of side big buck rubs. Definitely coming out of this uh, this uh, top side of the sanctuary, so I don't believe it busted anything out. And uh, yeah, all I can do is hope I might get a crack at one. Oh my god. <gasps> just worked. Just worked. Just worked. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that just happened. Oh, thank you, God. Oh my god. It worked. It worked. It worked. It worked. He was better to right here. I figured he was either going to go one way or the other. Oh, thank you, God. I'm my own property to voodoo. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, I think the shot was really good. I think the shot was really good. It looks like it was a little forward tickle high, but oh, it should have been right in there. Oh my god! Did that seriously just happen? I don't think the footage is that great. Oh, when I saw him, all of a sudden he was 20 yards right here. I saw his rack and I instantly knew who it was. That was one I was wondering if I could possibly catch up. I have to watch the footage. I can't not take it. I can't take it. Beep. 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 I hit him perfect, man. I can't believe it worked, man. I can't believe it worked. He was back right down here. I shot a beautiful, beautiful buck. I looked for blood earlier. I was not able to find any blood. But with that shot, it was right, right next to his shoulder. Net didn't pass through. Very similar to a Tom Petty shot last year. But we've looked at the footage several times. It, it definitely appears like I got right through the lungs, maybe even the heart, top of the heart. Took the arteries off, whatever. So let's go find a man. What you don't see in the footage is that we actually spent about two hours looking in the wrong direction. When he took off, I thought I saw him head down the hill and it must have been just me losing my mind in the heat of the moment, because he actually went uphill. I just found my buck, man. We were, I went in the wrong direction. We were all heading down the hill. And I'm like, I just didn't want to give up. It's too warm out. It's like 60 degrees, 65 degrees. I'm like, the coyotes are gonna get him. It's too warm. I'm like, I'm not gonna give up. And I just kept walking. I'm like, he either went up on this ridge, because that was where I would want to go for a view, I came up here and I ended up just seeing him, man. So come on, I haven't even looked at him, dude. I'm... He's huge, his body is giant, I didn't know he's there. Oh my god, look at the rack on that dude. I'm gonna have to go through and look through my sheds and everything because I'm I'm not honestly sure who this is. Um, he's got sippy cup in him though, but the bladed brows got a beautiful kicker here. I just got pictures of him just below the house. 
and I got pictures of him in the bottom bottom here and I remember when you looked at him he just had a frame you know and um, my god what a stallion you know this is just a this is a typical heavy duty 150 155 type deer but um, to do it on my own property and this buck survives season after season after season around here it's just I just feel really lucky I'm just so glad we found him tonight because I'll tell you it's so warm right now everybody else is dealing with this season too and it's um just a blessing I love you old boy Get the neck on that sucker holy cow what happened to your wrist? What wrist? My wrist? Mm -hmm. This wrist? Yeah. Oh, I think I broke my thumb a while ago. So, the shot was perfect right there. Never found the arrow. Don't know where that's at. Don't really care. What a slammer, huh? What a slammer. After looking through all of my old trail camera pictures, I was elated to find out that the buck that I had killed, I had actually named the Base Master General three years earlier when he was a four-year-old. I found both of his sheds that season, and he was a stud of an eight for his age. I'm not 100% certain where he went after that, until he showed back up on my farm this past mid-November. This year, he was a seven and a half year old buck and I would end up killing him coming right out of the same bed I've watched many other mature bucks use over the years. Pile of iron waders going across the creek. As you can see, it's really mild. It's like 57 degrees or something this morning. This is our cold front. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're um, going into favorite spot that I've never hunted with Kyle. It's right by where I killed Rusty Nail. To get in there we gotta go across the creek and waiters, but I'm hoping we might be able to get a crack at one of two different bucks this morning, DL or um, a buck I'm calling Walter Payton. Both are giants.
pumpkin bug coming in. I know you could, you could actually smell it when we got in here. But I just learned something massive. The main trail that is cut to get in here has been used 100 years. We were no more than 20 feet in the woods when that deer blew, and he blew once, took off. I'm pretty sure it was a big buck. Where they're at, they can see everything that's coming and going on that main trail. It'd be a perfect spot to bet. That's why I would bet there, too. So, even though we blew it out, I learned something in the process. The winds are terrible, but we're going to rely on our ozonics. I actually have mine pointed. I have two of them for that reason, pointed in two different directions. Because it swirls. But there's a dual bedding area up here. There. There. And obviously a buck bed's right up here on this ridge. But I think, I think this is a spot we could kill a giant. He's got our ozone right now. Yeah, that's, um, what is that? Thanks so very much for watching the story of the Basemaster General. I'm so fortunate to be the guy to have put a conclusion on that warrior, and I am truly thankful for it. Next week, we're going to push the level of patience one bow hunter can muster. Crazy.